why there is no love in your life. The Bible says in the book of Matthew chapter 24 and verse 12, And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. The problem we are having today is that few people want to say sorry. Few persons want to apologize. Few persons want to forgive. We have less act of kindness. We are seeing an increased desire for revenge malice, evil surmising, backbiting, and a love of money. But the Bible says in the Matthew chapter 24 and verse 12, And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. So, why is your love so cold? The Bible says it is because of your iniquity. What is iniquity? The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 13 and verse 11, And I will punish the world for their evil, and the wicked for their iniquity. I will cause the arrogance of the proud to cease and will lay low the heartiness of the terrible. Proverbs 19 and verse 28 says, An ungodly witness scorned judgment, and the mouth of the wicked devoured iniquity. Iniquity means to be wicked and ungodly. Now, let me ask the question again. Why there is no love in your life? The Bible says it is because of your wickedness and ungodly ways, which is also known as iniquity. If you are wicked and ungodly, you can never love. The Bible says in 1 John chapter 4 and verse 7, Beloved, let us love one another. For love is of God. Who love is of? Love is of God, and everyone that loveth is born of God. Let me repeat this part right here for you. Everyone that loveth is born of God. So, love is of God, and in order for us for you and I to love, we must be born of God and know it God. Verse 8 says, He that loveth not knoweth not God, for God is love. So there is no way a person who practice iniquity can love. Now, what is one of the definition of being cold? This definition comes to us from Webster's dictionaries. It says, to be cold means to be marked by a lack of warmth of normal human emotion friendliness or compassion. 
So, when there is no God in our lives, it is as a result of our iniquity. And once we are practicing iniquity, love will be removed from our hearts because the Bible says God is love. And he that loveth not knoweth not God. The Bible says love is of God. And he that loveth must be born of God. So it is impossible for someone to love who does not know God. Because God is love. He is love. So how can you regain love? In your life well here's what the Bible says Isaiah 55 and verse 7 it says let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts and let him return unto the Lord and he will have mercy upon him and to our God for he will abundantly pardon so forsake your way your wicked ways the evil things that you're doing the thoughts that are ungodly and come back God he is calling you. He wants to pardon you. The Bible tells us that He will pardon. He will forgive. He will cleanse you from all unrighteousness and filthiness. The Bible says in 2 Chronicles chapter 7 and verse 14, if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land oh what a beautiful text what a lovely passage there are a lot of healing that ought to be taking place in our lives because our love have become cold because of iniquity, because of wicked thoughts, because our sins have separated us from God. But God is calling us back to Him. He wants to pardon us. He wants to create in us a clean heart. He wants to renew in us a right spirit. He wants to take away that stony heart and give you a heart of flesh. Won't you come unto the Lord today? Won't you give up your cold heart your cold love, your iniquity, your sinful practices, your backbiting, your unforgivable spirit, your lack of kindness, your desire for revenge. 
malice, evil surmising, backbiting, and love of money, which the Bible says is the root of all evil. There is hope. There is hope in King Jesus. He is the way, the truth, and the life. God is love. And he that loveth not, knoweth not God, for God is love. So let us turn to God today who is the true source love, who is the embodiment of love. He is love. So my brothers and my sisters, may the love of God remove this old love from you. May the love of God remove this iniquity from you. Let us pray. Our God and our Father who art in heaven, thank you for your love. You are love. And without you, there is no love, but only false love. Only deceptions. And we don't want that. So give us your love and remove iniquity, wickedness, sinful practices, sinful desires, and evil from our hearts, and pardon us, we pray, in Jesus' name, amen.